Yes, sir. Definitely spoke like a major. <laughs> I now want to introduce right. Trapper Kane. He's the leader of the Canadian Army Veterans, and his voice and actions make certain that Canada's military veterans are never taken for granted and never forgotten. I was standing in front of a tattoo parlor in Brisbane, Australia. Gabby pulled up, opened the door, and he said, get in, dummy. And I thought to myself, these people don't understand the concept of getting a good tip. We pulled away, and he glared at me in the rearview mirror for a while, and finally he pulled over, and he said, why did you do that to yourself? Why did you get a tattoo? I told him I just finished the Jungle Warfare Center in Canungra, and in celebration, I decided to mark it with a tattoo, and he said, do you want to see a tattoo? He undid his cuff, he pulled back his sleeve and showed me a set of numbers carved into his arm, obviously with less care than a farmer would do to an animal. Auschwitz is all he told me. He found out I was from Canada and he asked me, what's it like? I told him it's an incredibly beautiful country, great resources, sea to sea, mountains, seas, prairies, beautiful country. He started to weep and he said, I thought so. He said in Auschwitz, there was an area that they called Canada based on a dream of a free and beautiful country. It was the job of the women there in the houses at this Canada to separate the resources of the people on their way to the chambers, on the people who are on their way to the crematoriums. They separated the eyeglasses in one pile, the shoes, the boots in other piles. Those resources were used for evil. Here in Canada, resources are used for good. You are, all of you, great resources. The half of everyone here and on behalf of everyone who can't be here, especially those souls who are taken from humanity all these years, it's a great honor for me to be here with you and pledge never again. Welcome to Canada. <laughs>